on the night of April 26, 2020. Awa was murdered and his head cut off his body and pinned on a stick by the roadside. He was not killed crossing the Mediterranean Sea in an attempt to reach Europe. He was not killed in the streets of China, evicted from his apartment, accused of harboring the coronavirus. He was not killed in the Americas or anywhere else in the world, where countless Africans have been killed for no other reason other than that they were Africans, black Africans. Another gruesome mother here in Mambu. This is the head of a young man. He's not an under fighter. He was killed and This happened last night. Last night, last night is the 26th, the 26th of April 2020. Awa was murdered and his head cut off from his body and pinned on a stick by the roadside next to his home in the village of Bafut, Bamenda, Ambazonia, formerly La Republic du Cameroon formerly Southern Cameroons, formerly Nigeria, formerly German Africa, but always barefoot. <laughs> Awa was murdered and his head cut off as if he was not dead when he was killed. He was killed on the one spot in the one village, Bafut, that God picked in his infinite wisdom to bring him into planet Earth. Why? Why was our killed like an animal? A despised animal whose death must be made gruesome as if to display a spite his very existence in his village brings. What did our do to bring all of this venom and rage that came pouring down not only on his life but also his dead body? Towards the end of the 19th century, the German disturbed the peace in Bafut, the one place that God picked to bring and embody the humanity of the people of Bafut onto planet Earth. Since then, the man in Bafut, like in many villages all over Africa, has not been allowed to be a part of the human family on Earth, like God intended. Awa is just the latest victim since that German invasion. The boy in Essen, Germany, the boy in Nancy, France, the boy in Oxford, England, can be saved and his life enhanced by the local governments in Nancy, Essen, and Oxford, even before the French, the German, and the English governments know that the boy was born in these villages. But our Mbafut is not allowed to live. No crimes committed. First, the invaders came, speaking to the people of Barfoot in German. Then they came speaking in English. Those who murdered Awa spoke to him in French. He gave them the water they requested of him to drink. But then they still came back and murdered him. How many languages must the people of Barfoot 
learn to speak before they are left alone in peace in the land God gave them at birth. The first invaders came in white skin. Those who murdered Awa came in black skin, but no one is fooled on whose behalf they came. No African, no black African is free to be in Africa like God created him to be. Not in his village, not in his tribe, and no matter how it is configured, the interest that must be served is always out of Africa. The United Nations and the British are responsible for the murder of Awa in Bafut on April 26, 2020. The massacre in Gabu on February 14, 2020. And all the murders and looting that has been inflicted on the people of Ambazonia. I leave the Germans out because the British and the United Nations had an opportunity to restore to the Bafut people and all the other peoples of Ambazonia what the German invasion took away and restore their humanity. But they chose to let the crimes of the first invasion remain the law under which life in Bafut and Ambazonia must continue. Brace yourself then and expect more, for Ambazonia has decided to be free of you all. They have decided to rehoise the flag in the Wafu Palace. That is why you see that guy struggling to tie it and not using the rope anymore. When I come vote now, I'm not a Bafu this, I'm not a road this, I'm not a block him. No, I'm vote. No, I love when I come now. Tuamuka destroyed already. We just stand and start. We see the wait. May they come, we go finish them. Kana six, we destroy two. Four go by. If the four come, we go destroy two again. They will come out, we finish them again. And Bafu, we do. We need a smile. We need a joke.